Hey guys, so I'm gonna do something a little bit different today. It's raining outside um, and I received something in the mail earlier. So we're gonna open this up, see what's inside and see what we can do with it. Right. So I know what's in here, but you guys don't. I got this on Amazon used for right around $20. So it was used, but it was still new. If that makes sense. Um, so I guess someone bought it and didn't use it. And I think I'm gonna need both hands to open this. So. All right. So hopefully this thing Ooh. Hopefully this thing still works. It seems to have a crack. But hopefully it'll work. But this is a microwave kiln for glass. So I have a bunch of glass and we're gonna see if we can't make some some cool little arrowheads out of this. Okay, so I took the little rotating base and everything out because I was nervous. Um, I'd read about it possibly breaking the plate that sits on there, but now I'm kind of scared of this exposed hole under there. I don't know what's going to happen if this thing gets too hot. But basically, I don't know what I'm doing. So I just piled up some debitage from one of the turquoise insulators. Like Ishii made some points out of. So if you're not familiar with that, just look up Ishii and insulator points but basically i'm gonna put that on there and we're gonna close this thing up okay so i set this thing for 10 minutes we'll uh we'll come back in 10 minutes and see what happened all right so i can see the kiln glowing in there i don't know if you guys can see that Two minutes left so we'll see what happens all right so our time is up we went 10 minutes the inside is still glowing we'll let that cool down for a little while and we'll see what we got in there okay this thing's been cooling off for a little while now use this rag to this towel to pick this up Look at that. That's awesome. So I'm scared it's gonna be stuck to that base there. I need to get some papers, but we'll find out in a minute. I'm gonna put this lid back on and let it keep sitting for a little while. Okay, so this thing did break. I'm assuming from some kind of thermal shock it cooled off too quickly if I had to guess. So I will be uh, leaving them in there from now on. I actually have another one going right now. But I'll be leaving it in there and letting it cool slowly inside the kiln from now on. I'll take this one out a little too quickly. Um, also I have some papers on order that should be here in a couple days. Uh, to prevent that sticking to the kiln. It wasn't a problem to get out, but you know, I'm, I'm slowly losing uh, the bottom of that kiln. But you can see a few places where it cracked. And like I said, I'm assuming that's from thermal shock. Uh, I tried to cool it too quickly, but I still have a few small arrowheads in here, so we'll flake them and see what we can get. And I'll be more careful from now on. Okay. 
So here's the arrowhead from my first piece of glass. One that broke. This is the biggest chunk that was left intact. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this little preview of the microwave kiln. I'll definitely be doing some more um, experiments with it in the future, so stay tuned and we're gonna make some pretty cool projects.